Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, Tiny. Yes, sir, I got your message. I'm just trying to... um. Ease, uh, ease up on some of these phone calls because I just had to call and leave a message for uh, Cynthia Bailey, CB, LCB, still crying, carrying on, and thinking whether she did the right thing on leaving Mike. I told her, yes, it was the right thing to do, and I don't want to talk about the situation no more. So, you were on my next to call list, and uh, I listened to the audio that you sent me of the show y'all did at V103. The Big Tigger and um, Shamil Morton, and I don't know the other girl's name. I don't care to know the other girl's name. And I don't know. I just played it, and I, I was listening to some stuff, and of course, Candy was doing a little bit too much. She was over-talking people, and then the sister of Latasha started talking about, we do that, we do that. And, you know, Tyna, I can only talk to you, girl, because you, you keep it real. You keep it real. You keep it a book. And you know what's going on in the group. And, you know, you be like, you know, you hold your tongue, you hold your water, you know. And uh, you don't let things slip out until you don't have enough and you start, you know, acting crazy and whatnot. And, and then you got to go tell for a oh. And it's, it's just when I know your butt, your buttons have been pushed, you know, um, took it to the next level. And you got to get people straight. It's like you got candy straight when y'all was doing that, um... Um, hell, I don't know what the thing was called back then, but it was on Bravo. Y'all were getting a little, sh uh, trying to get back into the public eye, trying to do some touring and stuff, and you had to get, uh, candy straight in the parking lot. Like, if you want to do it or you don't want to do it, just, just fess up to what you're going to do now. Because all this other stuff is bullshit. I was right there with you. And I say, same thing going on again. Then we got Latasha getting a big head out there. You know, I'm like, girl. Stop it. You and Candy need to stop going toe to toe. You and your sister need to keep that shit off of public, you know, um, the public uh, social media realm. And I know, you know, you telling me about, you know, what you think I should tell you. You tell the girls, you know, because you look up to me and you, you like my wisdom and my forethought and all that. I appreciate it, girl. But, uh, you know, I didn't want to get involved. I didn't want to get involved with this stuff now. But let's just listen to what you uh I may have missed something. You might have to call me back and, and say that wasn't right. But this is what I, the audio that I got that I heard. And, then, you know, I, I'll tell you what I feel about it in a few minutes. So, okay, let's just listen to it again. Cause it might, you might need to send me some milk because I'm not getting a full picture here. Now, one day I'm just going by what I hear and what you had called and told me. Uh, I'm an answer machine and I'm, you know, it's been a week. I know it's been a week, but I've been busy. Uh, me and Santa Claus been up here I'm trying to see whether we can get these toys uh, and get this whole, 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 uh, whole spiel around. And we got to go to the ghetto and drop the kids some, some toys out there. And ooh, we got to be around the world. I'm talking about internationally. No, we got to travel this whole globe in a couple of more weeks. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if Santa got it. The sled done broke down. Can't even find Rudolph at the time. That Don and Blitzen and Common and Cupid. They already talking about leaving. They protesting. They want a, a new raise or something. I'm like, I don't come up here for that. But anyway, going back to the um, audio, let me see if I can play a little bit. Then I can kind of give you a clue of what you need to hear the women. Okay, but we'll go right here. Let's see how I'm doing. 103 to 18, I'll never want to be hip hop. I'm being the lady of soul recipients performing this Sunday over there at. Um, Safe Farm Arena with the R&B experience. It's supposed to be an electric uh, stroll down the lane. Amazing acts and artists. Um, it's going to be lit. It's going to be a situation. Uh, <laughs> Queen of Tia. Uh, well, I want to know what the heck is going on. I mean, I hear y'all been keeping little secrets about what y'all wearing on the red carpet. <laughs> First it was that, then it was uh, y'all's promoter 
allegedly threatened uh, Latasha's husband, which is why she's not touring with y'all. Then it was the IG, oh, oh no, solo gospel album. Then it was um, IG model uh, Unique Foucha allegedly having a baby with Rocky Vegas. And then it came up that uh, Unique's page was allegedly hacked. So I want to know what is true to you and what is false to you? Well, first, let me say, we don't really know what's going on in their bedroom, in their personal business. That ain't got nothing to do with it. So, we won't, you know, we don't know. I don't have no comment on that. This is YouTube. (laughs) (laughs) They always throw a tape in it every time. Like, even the girl herself was like, I don't have, you know, escape. I'm like, why are you even bringing up the group? This is a personal matter. Yes, so, please, thank you. Can you please repeat it again for the people in the back? But that's probably one of the harsh things about being a group. I guess being in a group and female group. It just gets messy. And I would like to say, I mean, just go away to say, my girl Candy does not know this lady. I don't know that lady. They went and pulled up a picture that this lady took with me in 2018. Oh, the lady did? Yes, oh, I went there and just like everybody else, like, what the hell she took with me? I did not know that lady, so y'all can stop circulating that photo. It was a random date. I guess she saw me somewhere and took a picture with me. I do not know her. They are
expression. Like, we did something that's not true. You know, and our spouses have said pictures. Okay, Tanya. Now that you know, I listened to the video taping or the audio taping uh, a couple of times, and I'm like, "Well, you, you you pretty much said what you needed to say. You are very uh, unbiased when it comes to this calling a spade a spade or just calling somebody out for their bullshit." And I appreciate that. I said, "What uh, you were asking my advice that you were too harsh or something?" I said, "Should you be harsh enough?" You could have went hard on Latasha uh, for, you know, coming up with this bullshit about the manager or the promoter was doing this, that, and third, and he was sitting there trying to uh, hurt your husband or something, and then your sister telling another whole story. And, and tell uh, Tamika that uh, we don't need her to be talking about her family uh, business out up in these social media streets. This is a bad look. Bad look. You stay unified. One thing, you know, I would have wanted you to do, um, kind of keep everybody focused. You could did some PR stuff like, no, we don't want to talk about that because they ain't got nothing to do with us. Uh, you know, y'all will see it when they bring out the SWV versus us and how we get along with, the, um, uh, another girl group that's doing sensational. Uh, as well as, you know, now and in the past. And uh, you, you evidently had to know Latasha was going through some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she's feeling some kind of way. You know, but I, I wanted Tiny you to regulate. But I think you did as best as you could. You did the best as you could. And uh, talk to Candy. Talk to Candy tell her stop over-talking you when y'all doing interviews. We are all grown. And we need Candy to be a little bit more grown up. When it comes to letting a person finish in their sentence. And pretty much, Big Tigger had wanted you to talk about. Because, you know, the group was basically saying you, uh, Tamika and uh, Candy. Uh, they were basically saying that you talked with uh, Latasha Moore uh, at this time. And Candy don't even have a relationship. So, Candy, you know, you should have told Candy to hush. You know, she don't have a relationship no more with the girls. Uh, well, with Latasha. And uh, we don't need to see her looking unprofessional. Uh, we already know when it comes to getting those uh, sisters together, plus you, it's going to be some shit. It's always going to be some flames throwing, some, some verbalness, foolishness going on. And you get too many women together that think they all of that, it's going to be a hot mess. All right? None of y'all ain't like dying or raw status. I mean, come on, let's call it spade a spade now. We don't talk again about her capabilities and her shortcomings and her flaws. Uh, at least you said you had that conversation with her, you know. Um, but, you know, she got more clout these days and people are listening at her more so than the, the rest of you all. We already know you ain't got to work. You're still trying to do stuff. You know, T.I. don't talk to you several times. They always be up in female business and stuff. You be trying to pull him out. But, you know, he got he's going to do what he want to do. He's going to make it do what he do. So, uh, yeah, my only advice, Tiny, because uh, I really ain't got no horse in this race, no dog in this fight, is tell Candy to be quiet. Tell uh, Tamika to hush, especially when she's talking about family stuff, you know. Let Latasha go on and run her mouth and, when it's all dead and said and done, people are going to figure it out. And then they're going to be looking at her all kind of crazy. Okay, because we're supposed to be enjoying escape and uh, they're making more music or trying to make some music uh, so they can go down, continue to stay in history and in our minds and their uh, catalog of hits will still go on. Now, I don't know what whatever happened with that, um, that, uh, documentary that's supposed to have came out 
uh, about to escape that uh, Carlos Phoenix kind of uh, slide under the table uh, unbeknownst to Candy. And when Candy found out, she showed it, shit, shit down. But, you know, are we going to get, that's my concern, are we going to get a documentary of what Escape Life was like growing up in Atlanta, trying to get that record deal, working with Jermaine Dupree, you know, and all those comes and goings. That's what we're really waiting for. If it has to come next year, oh, uh, that's fine, you know. But just tell all the ladies uh, peace and blessings, peace and blessings. And, uh, you know, just, you know, because you called me, I call you. Uh, keep the interviews quiet, sweet, and short, okay? Even though, you know, Shamir was trying to get you out of child, the big digger, you know, and his zest himself, trying to save this, that, and the third. Don't let nobody take y'all off y'all game. If it's uh, havoc and chaos that y'all got going on uh, in the group, keep that shit on the low. We don't want to hear that. We, don't, we really don't. We really don't. We want y'all all to go out there, continue to uh, sing your old hits. But they like new hits, you know, as y'all as get older and stuff. Y'all bring another little sound to uh, the stage and to our audio ears. or well, your audio uh, of your records and stuff you be playing on the uh, airways. You know, we even stream them now. And some that still have uh, disc players, we still listen to that. But don't be letting nobody know y'all personal business. That, that's something we got to know. I mean, if you want to give it to us, we'll show look at it. I mean, we'll show, make our speculations, but uh, Tamika should not really be speaking on Latasha, and Latasha should not be speaking at all. Just uh, tell them tiny, you know, have a little bit more uh, pizzazz about themselves. Have a little bit more mystery to themselves. Don't give it all, especially not your private life. And, and get that stuff straight. And make sure you, y'all have a form of meeting. If y'all do a Skype call and get in, uh, a visual for everyone to see, and um, somebody come out and be clowning with trying to do their own thing like Natasha, then she should not even be there. You know what I'm saying? If she don't want to follow at least the dress code. This is opening up the uh, doors for more chaotic situations to happen in the future. I don't know if y'all need a therapist here now. Take go to therapy or something. Hey, Candy and Latasha, the therapy. Because it seems like that's all the people that are fighting against each other. Because Candy, she don't, she don't fool with her. She has no relationship with her outside of working. And I thank Candy for being very honest with her emotions and what she sees about uh, the subject of her and Latasha and their future. They're going to be. Escape going to be escape. Uh, either escape three or escape four, whatever. But uh, that's all I got time. I don't even really, really know why you bothered me. I told you I was taking a sabbatical. I was going to be off for about two months. You know, that's why I came to the North Pole to see what Santa Claus was doing. Okay, and get that um that nice, sweet spirit, loving spirit he has, okay, for the world and um uh, the kids and their comings and goings. And hopefully they get what they want or at least some of their wants uh for Christmas and stuff of like that nature but uh i'll call you in the new year girl i'll call you in the new year you know if you need to talk to me again you know of course leave it on answer machine i don't know i'm still looking for rudolph at this time and uh hell i don't even know where uh, mama santa claus done went to i told her i, I wanted some soup some vegetable soup and she still ain't cooking nothing you know, if you don't eat icicles and, and popsicles i'm tired of this i might come back home sooner than i thought but all right girl love you and i'll see you uh when i see you okay Good night. Bye-bye.